In Badok, during a Meet the People session, MPS, at Block 408 Badok North Avenue 2, an unfortunate incident unfolded that resulted in the police being called. The session, intended as a platform for residents to seek assistance from their Member of Parliament, MP, and volunteers, took a tense turn when one resident became aggressive. MP for East Coast GRC, Tan Kiat Hao, who represents the Kampong Chai Chi Ward, addressed the matter in a TikTok video on September 17, emphasizing the importance of mutual respect during these sessions. Mr. Tan explained that while he empathizes with the struggles that some residents face, the aggressive behavior cannot be condoned. He described the MPS as a safe space for both residents and volunteers, where mutual respect is key to resolving issues effectively. In the case of the agitated resident, Mr. Tan noted that although the MPS team tries to help in every way possible, certain matters are simply beyond their control. He gave the example that while they can facilitate opportunities for residents, they cannot directly demand jobs from government agencies. This incident drew varied responses on TikTok. Some users expressed support for Mr. Tan, while others sympathized with the resident, suggesting that desperation may have played a role in the aggressive behavior. One user even questioned whether the volunteers lacked the necessary tact in handling such sensitive situations, proposing that they receive better training to manage resident concerns. Mr. Tan responded by defending his volunteers, stating that they always do their best and that empathy is crucial in these encounters. He also reminded viewers that patience is essential because not all issues can be resolved immediately. Interestingly, this is not the first time such aggression has surfaced during MPS sessions. Similar incidents have occurred in the past, such as the 2018 attack on Jurong GRC MP Tan Wu Meng and the 2009 incident involving Eng Mo Kio GRC MP Seng Han Thong, who was attacked with paint thinner and set on fire by a disgruntled resident. These episodes highlight the stress and emotions often present at these sessions, underscoring the need for a compassionate and understanding approach from both sides. What do you think about this situation? Should volunteers receive specialized training to handle residents facing extreme frustration or stress? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this coverage insightful, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel 2234 more news stories like this. Your support means everything, and we want to hear from you.